Hey everybody, this is a quick video. In case you have a Novastar VX1000 or VX400 video processor and you need to do a hard reset to the factory default settings on it. Now there's kind of two reasons that you might want to do this. The first one is troubleshooting. If the video processor is not working or not responding or doesn't seem to be connecting or, or following the protocol that you set for it or anything like that, a hard reset can fix a lot of these issues. Now you're going to need to set it up again because it will all be restored to the default settings if you do this like you just took it out of the box. Um, and that's the second reason you might want to do this. If you're buying a used one or you're selling this or just for whatever reason where you want to get it to the way it was when it first came out of the box, um, we can go ahead and do that quite simply. All we need to do to do this is we're going to enter the menu and then we're going to toggle down to factory reset on here. And then from factory reset, we're going to have a couple options. We can save, save the IP address and everything like that if we want. But if we toggle down to the third option, and then select it. It's the reset all option. And if we select reset all option, then we'll confirm it and it will reset everything on this device back to the way it was when it came out of the box. 